What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Now, in today's tutorial, we're learning how to export 8K footage inside of Premiere Pro CC 2019. Now, the first question you may ask is, why do we need to export 8K footage? That's a good question. You know what? My answer is it doesn't matter. If you want to export it, you might as well learn how to do it, right? It, do it doesn't matter. Just This is what we're here for today, so deal with it. If you don't need to learn this, don't watch this video. Hopefully this helps out. Anyways, so you have a 4K sequence inside of Premiere Pro, right? Normally, you would go to File, Export, Media, and you want to change it to like 8K, but you realize Premiere Pro will not let you make this any bigger than 4096 and scale up. You can't type in like 8,000 pixels and it, it just scales it up like you would normally take a, a video and scale it up inside of the export settings. Um, so there is a way to do this. So what I found out is inside of Premiere Pro, in your sequence, I have my 4K sequence here um, with you know eight, uh, regular 4K footage. If I go to sequence and sequence settings, this pops up right here. If I change my editing mode to custom, I can actually type in 8192 by 4320, which is like the 8K 16 by, I don't know, some resolution, big resolution, this footage resolution, and click OK, it makes an 8K sequence. And you can, you know, from there you can go to um, effect, effect controls, which is right here and you can definitely scale up this footage and it'd be like you know 8k for some reason um, and then what was crazy is once you go to file um, export media with h.264 like we had it before Premiere Pro recognizes the 8k footage and you can export 8k and once you figured out all the fun sequence settings for Premiere Pro to make sure 8k actually works um, because it's great that H.264 MP4s are supported now in Premiere Pro for um, AK exports. Um, we should go to File, Export, Media, and these are the settings that I use for it. So we've got H.264 for the AK export. Um, audio, if you need it, turn it on or off, doesn't matter. Most of mine is like stock footage, so I always like uncheck the audio. Um, we have the frame rate, which is mirrored from the footage, and we scroll down um, Profile. I leave it at main and 6.0. Um, I've never really found a huge benefit at setting it to high, which you can set it to high if it makes you feel better. But I don't see a huge difference, um, especially with MP4s. Um, bit rate for encoding, we do VBR2 pass, and I set the bit rate to 140 megabytes per second. And then we export from there. And that those, those are essentially my settings that I use for 8K MP4 exports inside of Premiere Pro. And that's strange how, as long as your sequence is set to 8K, Premiere will recognize and export 8K. So, there's that. Um, but I will say, the biggest reason that I'm actually exporting 8K is because I have 8K footage. 8192 by 4320, so there is that. That's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's a really simple tip. Uh, I have a lot of different exporting videos on YouTube now, 1080p, 4K, all this different stuff. And I saw that this is a question that some people had. So hopefully that answers it. As always, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment. Tell me what your thoughts are. If this is helpful, leave a suggestion. I'd love to help out and answer any of your questions. So thanks. Peace.